Hi everybody, this is Robbie Lee. I'm doing one of my first videos for beginners on Golf Clash. First thing I want to point out very quick like is up here in the news, up in the top left corner, we have a tournament announcement. And the tournament announcement is that we're going to have a football fever tournament on Monday, June the 25th. You can click on find out more and then you can read all about it right there on that page. Okay, then you click back, <coughs> back again, and click on the X in the top right corner and now we're back on the home screen. So that's the way you can find out all about the tournament coming up. Now, the only problem is, is that if you're actually in the beginner league, you won't be able to play in the tournament. You have to be a minimum of a rookie. The reason I wanted to make this video is to show you about the balls. Here we go. Over in your club uh, section, which is down to the bottom of the screen, just to the left of the little home, home button, there, there's the clubs right there. You have your clubs, and then you tap over here on the right, and you have your balls. Also want to point out that down here on the bottom right, is a shopping cart and if you click on that you'll see your club card shop your chest and all of that stuff right okay they'll have specials every once in a while when we have tournaments and that's how you can get some special balls at a real good deal you also win good balls on the tournaments as well as some gold and club cards and uh, but the various tournaments cost a different amount to get into each one depending on what league you're in. The point I want to make is, is this particular time around they've decided to allow you to buy balls from any country. Okay, this is going to be in the tournament. Now, yes, let's say for instance Spain. I want to look at the properties on this right quick. We have a wind resistance of two, a side spin of three, and a power of three. That's pretty good. However, they cost 500 gems for nine balls. Your gem count is the gems up in the top right corner of your screen, the red one. Okay, now I bought some of the USA balls on one of the special deals, and I got 20 balls. I think it was $9.99 for 20 balls, and the chest from the highest tier I've got open, as well as. Uh, uh, one more and I think let's see I think I also got some gems on it too and on those special deals whenever you look over in the shopping cart you'll see that the deals usually cost like it was $9.99 and the gems that I got for it was like $12.50 so I got more gems than you normally get plus I got all of those American balls or USA balls as it were as well as the tour chest for the highest tour you have open. So anyway, I want to talk about these other balls that are common that, that come with the, the uh, installation of Golf Clash. First off, of course, is a basic ball. As you can see, it's got nothing, but they're unlimited. You can play them to your heart's desire and you'll never run out. They don't cost anything. The Marlins. They have a wind resistance of one and a side spin of one. They have no power rating, but they're only 25 gems a piece. And for 45, it's 125. That's balls, 45 balls, equals five packs. I'll show you about the packs in a little bit. Okay, now then, here we go with the navigator, which is the one I had just had selected. It's 60 gems, and I have 11 balls. Now, I'll show you. Look on that little yellow bar right below it. It'll tell you the exact number of balls that you have, so you don't have to add it up. It says that I've got two balls plus one pack. There's nine balls in a pack, and so I have 11 balls. Nine plus two is 11. Now, the navigator has two wind resistance, one side spin, and one power. Okay, so it's got more wind resistance than the Marlin, and it's also got a little bit of side spin, 
and one power, which is more than the Marlins got. It's also got more sidespin than the Marlins got, and more wind, wind resistance. Quasar. Now remember this, wind resistance two, side spin one, power one. The way I remember it real easy is just quickly. Two, one, one. Okay, let's go to Quasar. Now Quasar has one, two, one. We just had two, one, one. So Quasar has more side spin, but less wind resistance, same power, okay? Now, I'll play a hole in a minute to show you what I mean by the difference between power and side spin and all of that jazz. Titans have a wind resistance of 2, side spin of 2, power of 3. So these are pretty good balls. You get quite a bit of wind resistance, quite a bit of side spin, and a little bit more power. As a matter of fact, you get as much power with the Titans as you're going to get with the Kingmakers or the other ones. Uh, the uh, katanas and uh, for the money titans are the best however as you can see it's 180 for nine balls 180 gems and 45 balls cost you 900 so keep that in mind when you're playing that if you're using titans all the time you're going to be spending a lot of gems katanas they have two wind resistance three side spin and two power and they cost the same thing, 180, as the Titans, 180. And in the same regard, the Quasars cost 60 for 9, and the Navigators cost the same thing, 60 for 9. The good thing about the Marlins is they're cheap. They're only 25 for 9. And so, that's the lower... Uh, balls and then we have the kingmakers now the kingmakers look how much they cost 650 gems that's a lot but they've got three wind resistance three side spin and three power now if you look at the country balls this one's got two wind resistance three side spin and three power so it's actually got less wind resistance than the kingmaker okay and it cost 500 gems. That's why it cost a little bit less. I want to go ahead and show you a couple of the older balls. Well, I don't have them in this profile, so I don't have them. But some of the older balls that I've had a lot of times, the special balls will come uh, with even like four power and four wind resistance. And uh, incidentally, let me go back just a minute. If you go play golf and then you look over here on this screen that's where it'll tell you about football fever and if you tap on it it's going to show you all about it you can read that for yourself so i'm not going to pause and talk about it that's not the purpose it'll give you all the prizes that we can win and this is pro expert master and uh you you can't play a tour that's higher than your league okay but you can play a tour I mean, a, uh, um, a uh, tournament that's lower than your league. If you're at, say, an expert level, you can play a rookie tournament. And you can drop down, but you can't go up. I'm going to play one hole simply to show you about buying balls or changing balls within the play of a hole because there's a glitch okay however it's not a biggie <clears throat> so we're going to use a quasar on this one and you see I have a navigator so you click on swap ball and change to quasar the reason I want the quasar is because I want that side spin navigator doesn't have it remember now look at where the winds pointing and you want to be sure to adjust for the wind. You know, I wouldn't want to put it well over here it's been too close. The wind will blow it over there. Put it out here. I'm going to curl it as much as I can. And I need a little bit of room for it to curl. Perfect shot. 
the more you practice and get your perfect shot down, the better off you'll be. You won't always do the way the perfect but uh, it's just good to be able to hit a perfect shot, even with a bad ball. Here's the deal with the with the uh, uh, differences. If you remember, some of them have more power. For instance, the katana and especially the kingmakers that are three power. Whenever you go back, whenever you go to shoot a hole. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to click on take shot. It's lined up fine. Whenever I pull this back, I'm right in the center of the circle. Everything's fine. When I start pulling back more, it starts going faster and faster and faster, right? I don't want to hit it that hard, so I'm not going to. But you can also slow it down by going up here or curling it to the right or left, of course. And here's the thing, the point I want to make is that whenever you use a ball that has more power, then nice you don't have to worry so much about the needle swinging fast. And that's true whether you're in the rough or in the sand. It's very helpful to have a ball that has more power when you're in the rough, especially. Great shot. Because you're more likely to hit a perfect shot unless you get really good at hitting a perfect shot when the needle's swinging like mad, which it will, nice especially if you're using a plain old basic one. That's why I hardly ever use basic balls. I always use either one of three different balls. I use a uh, Marlin, a Navigator, or a Quasar. Those are my go-to balls, uh, unless I'm stocked up on Katanas or Titans or some of the other balls. I like to save those for tournaments. So, in some of my other profiles, I've got like 14 packs of katanas. Uh, so, that's good. I want to be able to have enough of those high dollar balls to be able to play the tournaments all the way through because you qualify with nine Qualify with nine holes. But then if you get in and you're in the top percentile to go on to the opening round on Thursdays and Fridays, then you have to plan on playing another 18 holes. And that's those same nine holes plus the same nine holes again for the back nine. Again, if you get through in the top 50%, of all the players in your group on Thursday and Friday, then you go to the weekend round, and again, you have to play another 18 holes. So, 18, 18, 9, you add that up, that's how many balls you're going to use on the tournament. So, try to. I like to try to qualify with the Navigators and the Quasars and only use the special balls a couple of times just to see how they're going to play in that hole make sure i'm aware of that and um you know of course your club qualities have a lot to do with what ball choice you you pick too because for instance the extra mile it uh as you can see the accuracy is terrible on it but if you look the curls 15 there's where you see top spin back spin if you remember, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but top spin to back spin is determined by what club you have. This one's 30 and 28. And the Malibu top spins 11, back spins 12. Top spin, back spin. That's whenever you 
click that ball during a play and then you move the meter up or down to go back spin or front spin. The side spin of that you're able to choose is not the club, it's this side spin amount, this side spin property, side spin two for Quasar, side spin one for Navigator, side spin two for Titan, side spin three for Katana, it's got more side spin, and Kingmaker of course has the best of all, three, three, and three. And so whenever we get down here to the special balls they're having this time around, there's three side spin. So the side spin is going to determine how far to the left and to the right you can adjust the ball. And then your power is going to determine how fast the needle is swinging whenever you're trying to hit the ball perfectly. And also how far you hit the ball, of course. The wind resistance is going to change the wind factor. I'll show you one more hole and then I'll forfeit because I don't want to waste your time watching me play a hole. But I'm going to open up one more in the beginners because I don't want to lose a lot of gold doing the video. And I plan on losing actually. So here we go with Meadow Castle, hole 2, par 4. Okay, so this is pretty straight ahead. Now what I could use very easily on this is a Marlin, or a basic ball like this fellow is using. And he's going to overpower it. I see how fast this needle is swinging. He didn't have it fully overpowered. So it wasn't too bad. So I'll show you what I mean on as far as power goes. So right now, Quasar is uh, power one, side spin two. That means I can go this way, this way, and up and down is the club. I can only go three top spin on the on the club. Okay, but. If I change over to Navigator, now I can't do as much side spin. And the wind resistance is more. So if you look at the top left corner, it's 1.4 right now. Switch over to Quasar, it drops, it goes up to 1.6. So that's what I'm saying. And I'm just going to shoot it. I ran out of time anyway. If you hit the ball into the water or out of bounds, then you have to get another ball out of the ball and wasted it. But if you just run out of time like that, then you still have to they don't deduct the ball from your basket. One more little item is that whenever you get down to using a the pop-up about well what ball do you want to use so that way you can kind of but since the balls I'm going to go to a marlin since the balls will um, <coughs> let me take wind to the right and forward I got a little tailwind great shot but it was a little bit to the right so you know that actually means that I curled it just ahead of the right now I don't have to do much damage and I'm not planning on winning this hole so we're not worried about that so Sweet's gonna try this and the main purpose in my doing this video for you is to show you about the different balls and there's one more thing that I want to show you whenever my turn comes up I'll be able to show you, and this is a glitch, but um, something to be aware of. Let's say I go up here and 
I can't swap the ball. That's not a glitch. Once you start playing the ball in the beginning, you can't uh, change balls. But if you try to buy one of the balls, when you click on swap ball, you get all your balls and you can s select a ball before you're teeing off. If you try to buy one from that screen while you're playing a hole, you can't do it. You simply can't do it. It won't work. And that's the glitch. So, if you're dead Great set shot. on using, for instance, a Marlin, and you don't know it, but you've only got one left, not one basket and one ball, meaning you have ten, but one ball, and you hit it into the water, guess what? You've got to get another ball out of your basket, and you don't have any, and you can't buy them. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I appreciate you all watching, and have a good time.